Um, the latest that I heard this morning before I began the uh, pulling the pieces together for today's podcast is that the orange Nazis lawyers told a New York appellate court this morning that it is impossible for the Antichrist to post a bond. What? Covering the full amount of the $454 million civil fraud judgment while the orange bastard appeals. Oh, wait a minute. You can't come up with four and a half, four hundred fifty million. Oh, you miserable prick! What a liar this guy! Well, come on, you're a billionaire, didn't you? Didn't you try to convince Forbes magazine you were worth eight, ten billion? Didn't you say during a deposition where you obviously committed perjury, you lying bastard, a couple of months ago that you had cash in the amount of four hundred million? Um. The Orange Bastards lawyers uh, wrote this in a court filing, quote, Obtaining an appeal bond in the full amount is not possible under the circumstances presented, end quote. Well, uh, look, Trump, you filthy pig, you just uh, uh, reconfigured and took over the Republican National Committee. I'm sure that your supporters will contribute enough money for your filthy legal defense, right, and your bond. With the interest this orange bastard owes, let me give you an exact figure, $456.8 million. Uh, he and his co-defendants, including his company and top executives, owe $467.3 million. Now, in order to obtain a bond, all this shit's new to me, just like I'm sure it is to you. Uh, the, the things I have learned about the legal system over the past eight years and how to corrupt it is all thanks to Trump, filthy bastard. To obtain a bond, the, uh, the Trump gang would be required to post collateral worth $557 million. <laughs> Oh, poor baby. Really? Well, then I think what uh, uh, what should happen is that the uh, um, prosecution in this case should start seizing the son of a bitch's property. Take it. Take everything this miserable prick has. Put him in the street. Let him go live in a fucking cardboard box. I mean, that's the kind of shit that he likes to point fingers at and giggle about. Oh, those people aren't human either, are they, Donald? Anyway, a um, state appeals court judge ruled last month, as you know, that the orange bastard has to post a bond covering the full amount if he wants to pause enforcement of the judgment. ba 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 let me see. Oh, yeah. The judge, in the, remember Ngoran, the judge, the one that Trump constantly harassed and made fun of, Ngoran and his uh, uh, his uh, chief clerk? Well, Judge Ngoran ruled in February that Trump, his company, and the top scummy, filthy uh, executives, uh, his son Donald Jr., and the one that looks like walking cat piss, Eric, uh, they schemed for years to deceive banks and insurers, inflating the wealth of financial statements and then de- deflating the wealth when they wanted something else. What a bunch of little con artists, goddamn grifters. Among other penalties, the judge put strict limitations on the ability of Trump's company, <laughs> Trump's company, to do business in New York State. So anyway, what, what Trump has instructed his, uh, his lawyers, if you want to call them that. Look, let me pause for a second. I know everybody's entitled to a defense under our system of justice, but not Trump. Trump is not entitled to a fucking thing because he uses our system to destroy our system. And when it becomes apparent that somebody is doing that, then shouldn't the hammer be brought down Shouldn't a, 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 our overarching authority some places should say, okay, the orange bastard, you have tried everything and you've been quite successful in screwing up our legal system. So no soup for you. No more of this. And, and just deny him any constitutional rights. 
I mean, he's abused it so badly. What happens when some rotten goddamn parent abuses their child and the authorities hear about it? They remove the child. They take away the parental rights. They say, look, you had your chance. You've hurt this kid. Fuck you. No more. No more doing this. Shouldn't that be said to Trump? You have abused the system. You have corrupted it. You have pissed all over it. So no more for you. He is uh, asking a full panel of the state's appellate court to delay, delay, delay the judgment while he appeals. This is the Trump M.O., right? Now, his lawyers, if you remember a a couple of weeks ago, his lawyers proposed, uh, Judge, how about if we just put up a hundred million dollar bond? Would that work? Would that work? And the appeal court, uh, appeals court judge who heard this whiny little plea rejected that. Um, a real estate broker, uh, according to what I have here from the Associated Press, a real estate broker that was hired by Trump to assist in obtaining a bond, wrote in an affidavit filed with the court that few, if any, bonding companies will even consider <laughs> issuing a bond of the size required by the orange bastard. Oh, really, Donnie? Well, just reach into your billions that you have stashed away in Russian banks or Saudi banks. Get your filthy son-in-law, that murderous little prick. Get him. He just got a $2 billion fund a couple of, well, a couple of years ago, I guess, from the Saudi royal family. Go, go to your son-in-law, Donnie. Come on. Um, anyway, the remaining bonding companies that say, well, we'll think about it, but those companies, quote, will not accept hard assets such as real estate as collateral, but will only accept cash or cash equivalents like marketable securities, which I'm sure Trump has zero of, um, the broker the real estate broker who was trying to handle this, a guy named uh, Gary Giuletti, wrote this, quote, A bond of this size is rarely, if ever, seen. In the unusual circumstances that a bond of this size is issued, it is provided to the largest public companies in the world, not to individuals or privately held businesses. <laughs> oh, well, I guess, Donnie, you prick, you come under the heading of individual, right? So, no soup for you. Just like the soup Nazi. Yeah, that works well with you. You're a Nazi. Uh, now, Trump afe- uh, appealed towards the end of February, a few days after the judgment, if you remember, it was made official. And his lawyers have asked the appellate division of New York's trial court to decide whether the judge and Gorin, quote, committed errors of law and or fact, and whether he abused his discretion or acted in excess of his jurisdiction, end quote. Yeah, okay, it's all high-sounding language, but Trump's attorneys know it's bullshit. But, you know, with the amount of money they're making off this walking corpse, uh, I guess his attorneys feel, fuck it, let's just keep going. I mean, come on. At least we're getting money from him. So many of our colleagues in the legal profession never got a goddamn dime. So let's just keep it going. Ah. Uh, now, the New York Attorney General who uh, brought this case, Letitia James, has said that she's going to go ahead and uh, try to get a court order to start seizing some of Trump's assets. (laughs) Yes. Get that fucking Trump Tower. Get that. Get get Trump Tower. And then just, you know, I'll help. If you need some help, um, Miss James or Judge Angoran, if you need some help, I'll get up there on a ladder with a goddamn crowbar and start peeling off those phony-ass orange letters. Huh? I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, What else? Oh, yeah. Let me mention again, he maintains that he's worth several billion dollars. And he testified at what was it last year towards the end of November or the end of the year, I think, that he had about four hundred million dollars in cash in addition to properties and other investments. We'll cough it up then, mofo. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial free commentary from today's leading 
progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.